In this video, we'll introduce matrices and some basic matrix operations like addition, subtraction, and scalar multiplication. Video has chapters, so you can skip around as you please. Let's begin by introducing what a matrix is. Put simply, a matrix is a rectangular arrangement of numbers in rows and columns. So for example, here's a matrix A. In the same way that we might assign a name to a number, like X, we can assign a name to a matrix, and a common choice is capital A. Note how these numbers aren't just arranged in a rectangle, we actually use these square brackets to kind of section them off, and so it's clear what matrix we're looking at. We're looking at this matrix A, which has two rows, those are the horizontal lines, and three columns, those are the vertical lines. So we would say that this matrix has dimensions two by three, two rows, three columns. The numbers in the matrix are called the entries of the matrix. For example, the entry in row 2 and column 3 we see is 7. As another example, the entry in row 1, column 2, is 2. Some matrices, depending on their dimensions and the entries they have, may be considered special in one way or another. Here are some examples of special matrices. We say that a row matrix is a matrix with only a single row. This is an example of such a matrix. It has four columns, but only a single row. It kind of just looks like a list of numbers. Similarly, a column matrix is a matrix with only one column. You can see that this matrix here has three rows, but only a single column, so it looks like a vertical bar. This first matrix A that we looked at had more columns than rows, but if a matrix has just as many columns as it does rows, it's called a square matrix, like this one here, for example. It has two rows, and two columns. It is a two by two square matrix. No matter what the dimensions of a matrix are, if all of its entries are zero, we call it a zero matrix. So this is a zero matrix, but we could also have a different zero matrix with different dimensions. Hopefully now it's clear that the two most important parts of a matrix are its dimensions, how many rows and columns it has, and its entries, the numbers that are actually in the matrix. So it shouldn't be surprising that we say two matrices are equal only if they have the same dimensions and their entries in corresponding positions are equal. Let's look at a few examples. Here are two matrices. They could be equal because they have the same dimensions. They each have three rows and they each have two columns. So both of these matrices are three by two. So they might be equal, but we would have to check if their entries and corresponding positions are equal to be sure. In row one, column one, this matrix has a one and this matrix does two. In row one, column two, this matrix has a two and this matrix also has a two. Sure, it's written as a fraction, but it's still equal to two. In row two, column one, this matrix has two and a half, and this matrix does as well. Again, it's written as a fraction, five over two, but that is still the same as 2.5. In row two, column two, this matrix has zero, and this one does as well, and so on. Their corresponding entries we see are equal. So these two matrices are equal. They have the same dimensions and their corresponding entries are the same. What about these two matrices here? First, what are their dimensions? They both happen to be square matrices. They each have two rows and two columns. So their dimensions are the same, so they could be equal, but we would have to check if their corresponding entries are the same. Clearly, they're not. In row one, column one, this matrix has an eight, and this one has a five. So already, we know that these two matrices are not equal. In fact, none of their corresponding entries are the same. Now, what about these two matrices here? Well, this example is even easier because the matrix on the left is a two by two square matrix, 
but the matrix on the right is a 2 by 3 matrix. Their dimensions are not the same. So even though you may notice that a lot of their entries kind of appear to be the same, there's just no way these matrices can be considered equal because they have different sizes. So these two matrices are not equal. The only pair that was equal was this first one. Now, a giant box of numbers sounds pretty fun, but matrices wouldn't be that fun if we couldn't do some math with them. And of course we can. We can add matrices, we can subtract them, there's a whole lot more we can do too, but let's talk about addition and subtraction. To add or subtract matrices, we just add or subtract their corresponding entries. Now for this to have meaning, the matrices need to have the same size, so keep that in mind. We can only add or subtract matrices with the same dimensions. Let's do a couple examples. Here we have the sum of two matrices. Each matrix has dimensions 3 by 2 three rows, and two columns, so we can add them. And to do so, we just have to add the entries in corresponding positions. So first, in the sum, we would have 1 plus negative 1, so 1 plus negative 1. What about the second entry in the first row? Well, we would add the second entries from the first rows of those two matrices, so 0 plus 4. And we continue in a similar manner, 3 plus 3, that will be right here. And then in row 2, column 2, we would have negative 5 plus 8, so negative 5 plus 8. In row 3, column 1, we would have 6 plus 1, 6 plus 1. In row 3, column 2, we have 2 plus 1, so 2 plus 1. One. Now let's actually do the arithmetic to get our final answer. 1 plus negative 1 is 0. 0 plus 4 is 4. 3 plus 3 is 6. Negative 5 plus 8 is positive 3. 6 plus 1 is 7. And 2 plus 1 is 3. So that's how we add two matrices. Let's try this example of subtraction. We are subtracting two square matrices. Both of these matrices are 2 by 2. Let's see if we can do this one a little more quickly. We just have to subtract entries in corresponding positions. So first, we have 4 minus 5. 4 minus 5 is negative 1. Then, we have 5 minus negative 3. Be careful, those are two negatives, so it's actually addition. 5 minus negative 3 is 5 plus 3, so this entry is 8. Then we have 0 minus 8, that's pretty easy, that's negative 8. And finally, we have 3 minus 6. 3 minus 6 is negative 3. Now what about this last example? Well, you may notice we actually can't add these matrices because their dimensions are different. The matrix on the left has three rows and two columns, but this matrix on the right has two rows and two columns. So this sum is not defined. We can't add these matrices together because they have different sizes. So that's matrix addition and subtraction. One last operation we'll talk about today is scalar multiplication. When we're doing algebra with matrices, real numbers are often called scalars, just to distinguish them from this other type of object called a matrix. Now, to multiply a matrix by a scalar, all we have to do is multiply each entry in the matrix by the scalar, probably just like you would expect. And this is called scalar multiplication. For example, here's a square matrix being multiplied by the scalar 4. To do this multiplication, we just have to multiply 4 by each of the entries in the matrix. So first, we would have 4 times negative 3, which is negative 12. Then we would have 4 times 0, which is 0. Then we would have 4 times 2, which is 8. And finally, 4 times negative 1, which is negative 4. In this example, we have a little bit more going on. We have negative 3 times this matrix plus this other matrix. Now, just like with real numbers, we can't add these matrices 
until we do this multiplication. So the scalar multiplication comes first. We'll multiply this matrix by negative 3, and we'll put that here, and then we can add it to this other matrix. So we have negative 3 times 0, which is 0, negative 3 times 1, which is negative 3, negative 3 times 2, which is negative 6, negative 3 times 5, which is negative 15, negative 3 times negative 6, which is positive 18, and negative 3 times 7, which is negative 21. Now that we've done that scalar multiplication, we can add these two matrices together. 0 plus 2 is 2, negative 3 plus 6 is positive 3, negative 6 plus negative 6 is negative 12, negative 15 plus 5 is negative 10, 18 plus 3 is 21, and negative 21 plus 8 is negative 13. So that's what a matrix is, some special types of matrices, how to tell if two matrices are equal, how to add and subtract them, and how to do scalar multiplication with a matrix. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Algebra 2 course and Algebra 2 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Mama. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about.